Okay, Asian rainbows, this video is for you. I'm gonna show you exactly how I did all of this foresty tree texture behind me. Let me take you right up to the wall. Now notice that the shadows in this painting are a very dark gray. And so they're a little bit green, mostly gray. To get that, I'm going to mix blue with a little bit of red and yellow. I'm working out of one gallon cans of acrylic latex paint. It looks like this. So here's my red. I got this from the paint store. It's a lotion called satin. So the first thing I'll do is get my base there. I'm going to paint over what I already have done so you can see how I got this uh, final product. So let's do blue. To get gray, you need mostly blue with a little bit of red and yellow. Okay, blue, red, yellow. Okay, let's do this. Now, I also have a bucket of water handy. And so I'm going to dip in that water and put it on here. That helps to keep the paint wet while I'm working. I'll do that every so often. So you can see that this is very brown, so I need more blue. Okay. That is a good shadow color for the trees. That'll be my first layer. Add water to spread it around. I'll thin it out as I get up high. Okay, I'm going to stop this video to make it shorter and cover all of my area with that base color. Now watch how I fade in a little more red and yellow as I get down low to give me the little bit of a forest floor effect. Some red, yellow. Blue is opposite to orange, so it will darken and cancel out the intensity. So it gets browner as it comes down, and just a touch of white to lighten that brown. Make it look like some light is hitting the forest floor back in there. Touch more. Okay, that's my base. Now the next thing I'll do is get out the sea sponge. Let me show it to you. 